We're proposing changes to the housing provisions to clarify and align the thermal break requirements for roofs and walls in houses, which are class one buildings. The current wording suggests that there's a difference between the existing thermal break deemed to satisfy or DTS provisions for roofs and walls. This isn't the case since the intent and overarching functional requirement is the same, that is, to reduce heat flow across the metal frame. The proposed changes aim to make this clear, specifying in which situations a thermal break is required. The proposed changes also aim to recognise the effect of insulated sandwich panels in minimising thermal bridging. In developing these proposed changes, we consulted with our peak technical committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC. Under the proposed changes to subclauses 13.2.3 and 13.2.5 of the housing provisions, a thermal break would be required between the external cladding and internal lining in the following circumstances. One, when they're each fixed to different elements of the wall or roof frame. Two, when they're fixed to non-structural elements of the frame, such as metal battens and three, when they're fixed to an element of the frame structure that is not specifically listed in the provision through the addition of the term or the like. We're proposing to establish a clear DTS elemental pathway for insulated sandwich panel walls. This will align with the requirements for other types of lightweight wall and a similar DTS pathway that was introduced for roofs constructed from insulated sandwich panels in NCC 2022. These changes clarify the intent of the current NCC DTS provisions and will contribute to improved compliance with the residential energy efficiency requirements. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au slash PCD. Here, you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two, and three, and the housing provisions You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from the 1st of May to the 1st of July, 2024. We look forward to your input.